Hey everyone, welcome to Thrill Thrifter. My name is Julie and in today's video we are going thrifting in Goodwill just to see what all they have on the shelves. I am on the hunt for some spring items, trying to refresh my bedroom, just different things like that. I've been moving a lot of stuff around in my house and I have some empty spaces because I've been decluttering a lot. So let's just go thrifting through here, see what all we can find. I do want to share with you that I have a thrift haul and I'm going to be showing that to you here shortly and how I am using and styling each one of the pieces that I picked up today. Now, I thought that this little white set here was absolutely gorgeous. This would look so pretty on a hutch to hold some fruit or just anything. I thought that they were the perfect little size. However, I just really did not have a need for them. So I end up stacking them up all nice and neat together. So hopefully someone will buy the whole set and end up enjoying them in their home. This is a very, in my opinion, little primitive looking piece. I think it is a bean pot. It did have some very significant chips on the lid. I don't think I got a clip of those, but it had some pretty good chips on the lid. So I just ended up leaving that there. And then I came across the most adorable little set of dishes with all of these little florals on them. This is a very like cottage core kind of look in my opinion. It's definitely not my style, but a very sweet set of dishes. Then I come across another one of these pots, very similar to that bean pot, and it also has some pretty big chips on the lid, so we're gonna leave this one. Now you could get this and not worry about the chips on the lid, just do away with the lid and put some greenery or a little plant or florals, or use it to hold some spoons in your kitchen. You can do all sort of things with them, so don't let that chip in the lid hinder you from getting it because you can still use it in many different ways. I just really didn't need it, so I decided to leave it behind. Now y'all already know that no thrifting trip would be complete if we did not check out the baskets in Goodwill. So we're gonna take just a minute and see if they have anything in here that we need to bring home. So this is definitely my what is this in today's video. The color is what got my attention. That beautiful green color that I love got my attention. And then I was intrigued because I could not figure out what it was. So if you know what this is, please let me know. Did I leave something great and vintage, something that I could have <laughs> put on display? I don't know. It was very interesting. But again, I don't know what it was.
I am also a little obsessed with lamps, so I am going to check out any lamps and any shades that I might could use because I did break the one that's been in my guest room for years and I need a new one. So I am on the hunt for a beautiful little brass lamp to go in there. So let's just check all of these out and see what they have to offer us today. Um, yeah, I, I have no clue. <laughs> Y'all already know what I'm going to ask, so just let me know down in the comment section. On my way out, I wanted to show y'all this very large, fancy, nice kitchen table with these chairs. They had it marked at $150, but they quickly look like they marked it down to try to get rid of it because it is such a big piece. I thought it was beautiful. The top is just kind of sitting on there. It was really wobbly, but then I noticed this big tree and I thought, how fun would that be to put out on my patio this spring and summer? I could not find a price on it anywhere. It's down in this big basket and I think they must have put cement in it or something to keep it from blowing over. Maybe they had it on a patio as well, but that was gorgeous. I just did not at this point feel like asking for or looking for a price any further. It was probably on the bottom but again this was way too heavy so we're going to head over here and check out the linens and then i'm going to share with y'all what i picked up today and what i did with it Okay, so the first piece that I did purchase today is this beautiful field crest. I don't know if it's a bedspread or if it is just considered a blanket, but it is the perfect color that I have been looking for to layer with another thrifted comforter on the end of my king size bed. I'm just kind of showing you the underside of it here. And I did overpay for this, y'all. I paid like $11.29 for this, which I feel like is too much, but I have been looking for this color blue forever. So let me show you how I styled it on my bed. And like I said, 
said, I do have it layered with another thrifted floral bedspread, and I think it looks beautiful. Next up is just a plant stand. I thought that the price was right on this for $3.29. It's a pretty heavy duty one. It's not a real cheap one that you would find like at the Dollar Tree or anything like that. But I got it because I can use this either inside for a plant, I can use it for my Berkey water system, or I can use this when the weather gets right outside to put in one of my flower beds to hold a big clay pot out there and put a plant in that or some flowers, just anything. It's pretty versatile, I thought. And I thought that this was such a neat idea if you have a Berkey water system, you know how expensive the stands can be for that. So I thought that this was a nice little alternative to that. And then hidden under some stuff, I found this adorable little masher. It does have the red handle on it, but there is no way that I was leaving this for $1.29. I thought, man, this would be so beautiful during Christmas because it has the red on it. Right there, it says Androck made in the USA. And what I'm going to use this for is a little towel holder. So I've hung it up here by my sink and I did put a little red towel in it. I don't really use red in my decor unless it's Christmas time, but then I decided to change it out and put a blue towel because you cannot even see the red handle and it works perfectly as a little towel holder. I absolutely love this and I think that this is the cutest idea. So if you see one of these at the thrift store, don't think potato masher, think towel holder. But anyway, y'all, we hope that y'all have a wonderful weekend. Thank y'all for coming thrifting with me in Goodwill today. We love y'all and I'll see you next week with a brand new video. Mm -hmm.